Okay, so you booted up your, your recorder, you've got a screen plugged into it and you've got a mouse plugged in. This is the first screen you see. Now this is the one they want you to make a password. So in this box here, make yourself a password. I'm going to use admin123 for this demo. And you can see what you've typed there by clicking show password. Just confirm it's correct on both. Yep. Uh, you can click apply there and that will just give you that password. If you want an added level of security, you've got this unlock, unlock pattern enable here. So if we click enable and then click draw on the little pencil, we can now draw a pattern. So we could go from, say, top left, around the outside and then in. And if we just repeat it again, that then saves it as an unlock pattern. Okay, if we apply that now, admin's name and password saved successfully. So you can enter the pattern or the password. Pattern or password, you choose which way you want to get in. So I'll use pattern on this one. And there we go, we're in. So the first screen you see, let me just get rid of that one is the wizard. So if we click start wizard we'll go into the uh, startup process now. Okay so the first screen is the network one. Now for most people all you need to do here is click next. Uh, this should be ticked DHCP that will talk to your broadband router and it will set up these settings here. Or if you are a network engineer you know what you're doing you can manually untick that and then manually set your own settings. But recommended leave it at DHCP. As you scroll down, you can ignore all of this stuff here. This will do it for you. If you want to do something just to be sure, you could enable the UPnP here, but in most cases, it's really not necessary. So I'll just leave that as is. Down the bottom, do not enable PPPoE. This is not the PoE for the camera. This is something different, so ignore that. And you can ignore that unless you're using a 3G mobile dongle. So we'll click next, as most people will do. Click next. Next one is date and time. You can set the recorded date and time here. We can see we're uh, looking like a GMT plus eight. So that's from the Far East where it's manufactured. So it's just uh, pop it to GMT plus one, I think it is. There we go. Um, let's put it to proper standard date, month, year. And let's set a time, which is 11.34. There we go. And click next. Oh, before we do that, you've got these two options here, NTP. This is a, a national time um, server, so you can have the recorder sync up to these internet server uh, time servers. And you can also enable your de uh, daylight savings time details here. I find I just manually do it when the time changes, just once, once, twice a year, just come and do it here manually. It's very simple. And click next. Now this, this screen here only relates if you've got IP cameras, if you've got an AHD recorder with the uh, the push twist connectors on the back connecting the recorders straight to the camera, you do not need to worry about this. If you have IP cameras they will appear here, click on that arrow there and they'll appear on the right and be set up. Click next. This is the hard drive screen so it's showing the hard drive size, free time and basically the condition of it here. If you want to start afresh, you can click that one there, format HDD, and then next. I won't do that because this, this has been a demo unit. So we'll go next. Here is your monitor resolution. Um, because you're seeing something on your screen, presumably that's okay, but you can set it to anything up to 4K resolution. Um, if you do set it to a resolution your monitor can't handle, don't worry, just wait and it will come back what the machine does when it changes resolution, it um, it will reboot, change resolution. It will then say, "Can you see this screen? If so, click OK. If not, it will then reboot and it will go back to the previous setting." So uh, I'm going to leave it on 1080p and click Next. This is uh, just a summary of your network connections for your mobile app. This is the code you'll enter in your mobile app when you start to do that, or you can scan this QR code. So finally we've just got a summary of the settings here and then finish. And that's it, that's the recorder set up and ready to start using. Mm -hmm.